It's been so long. You've been so tough. You've kept it up. You've kept me up. Been standing tall, keeping strong, and I'm doing well. I'm eating more. And oh, you might think that you're fine. You need someone. And oh. It's early. So hi. Hi, hello. Welcome. Welcome to a, another vlog. I hope you are well wherever you are. This is a day in my life kind of a writing vlog. Um, it's 8 a.m. right now and I am just about to sit down and get a little bit of writing done right before work. I really like to give myself time to focus. That is to say, I really like working under a deadline almost in a way. So I treat my morning writing sessions as exactly that. I usually give myself an hour and I tell myself for an hour, I am going to focus. I'm going to put away my phone. I'm going to just have my writing app up. I'm not going to have any browsers. I'll have a little bit of music, but um, it's just my time to like focus and get words on the page. Um, and then I start work. Today I'm working from home. I work from home part-time throughout the week and I go into the office the rest of the time. So normally it's when I'm going into the office, obviously I start a little bit sooner. But what am I working on? Today is a very exciting day on the page for me. Today I am finally going to write a dragon. <laughs> so if you've been following along or if you haven't, you know that I'm currently working on a dragon story, a dragon book actually, an adult fantasy. Um, it is a completely new project that I'm working on and so far in my writing journey there has not been a single dragon. I mean I guess technically in the prologue there's a dragon but I don't count that because you don't, I don't describe it, you don't really see it, it's not really there. But today, today I will be describing a dragon, which I'm really excited for, but I'm also intimidated by, <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's just because dragons are so well known and so regarded and they're such, they're, they're, I mean, so many wonderful stories are filled with dragons. So there's a lot of pressure to like do it justice. And I mean, I love dragons. I love dragons so much. So I'm also just putting all of this pressure on myself for no reason. So that is what's happening today. Today I'm writing a dragon and I'm very excited for it. 
Work on this project has been going pretty slow. I have been writing as much as I can throughout the week without really thinking about what I'm writing. So just literally writing, 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 not really caring about whether or not the scenes flow into one another easily or anything. And then on the weekends, I go back and I fix it up. So a lot, <laughs> a lot of what I've been doing is writing a ton and then going back and deleting a ton and then writing a ton and deleting a ton. So I've actually been sitting at around the same word count in my story, um, which is around 10,000 words. Sometimes I get up to like 12, sometimes I go all the way back down to eight. So it's just been around that 10K mark because to be honest, I'm just finding the story right now. I am being quite ruthless about what I'm cutting too. I think that normally I wouldn't cut this much and normally I wouldn't write this much. I would just keep going with it, but I really want this draft to be tight and as tight as possible. Um, but sometimes when I'm writing, I need to kind of find my way into a scene. So I just let myself do that and then I go back and cut. But even though there's a lot of writing that's happening and a lot of deleting that's happening, the story is just, it's, it's going so well and I'm really, really truly enjoying it. I honestly feel like this is the first time in months that I, I am able to work on a project consistently. Oh, cuckoo's clock. That's how you know it's eight o'clock when the cuckoo's clock comes on. It takes forever too. So I am gonna get to writing now and I'm gonna see how far I can get. I have to work today, as I've said, so I'm only gonna be able to write um, in the, well, well, I'm only gonna be able to write this morning and then in the afternoon for my lunch hour for a little bit. But let's see how far I get. Let's see how this dragon turns out. I'm basically approaching this scene the same way that I approach every scene though, which is just to write it and not worry too much about it <laughs> until the draft is done. I have really been, not struggling, but I've really been brainstorming as to what this book is going to be and what the plot will be. And I'm slowly carving my way out very slowly. I'm chipping away with a spoon and the walls are starting to fall and a plot is starting to come together, but I just, it's not, it's not enough for a full book yet. Anywho, now I'm just procrastinating. So thank you for being here. Thank you for listening to me and for helping me procrastinate, but it is very much time to write some dragons. Let's write some dragons. Think about the time I spent on things that I despise and all the sleepless nights. Vision cast aside for TV and wishing and dreaming. Oh boy. Okay. My story. Wow, I'm I'm talking so much. I'm sorry. This is my morning energy. Um I just realized that my story is dual point of I didn't just realize this. My story is two points of view um between two characters and do I write? Okay, here, let me let me actually explain so you're not just watching me ponder and confused. I finished a scene yesterday with one of the characters that is a lead up to the dragon scene. And then, theoretically, the way my book is structured, it flips over to another POV taking place at another point, no dragons in that scene. So I'm wondering, do I write that moment or do I just go with the dragon moment and just fill in the cutaway scene later? I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think we're gonna write, we're gonna write dragons today. Um, anyway, thank you for being there for that. Was that, I, was this, <laughs> was that thrilling? Was that thrilling to watch? Um, I'm trying to be more open in like my process and like, I'm not trying. I'm, I wanna be open in my process and um, sometimes it's just like you, I have to hear me brainstorm out loud. This is actually what my partner goes through almost every day when I tell him what I'm writing and what I've struggled with is he just sits there and just nods. Um, he also offers amazing ideas, but for the most part, it's just watching me stumble into try to explain things. Anyhow, okay. We're actually gonna write now. We're actually gonna write now. And I'm still waiting on a sign like I believe in something. Like something believes in me Waiting is too easy Wishing is too easy Nothing that's easy will free me And this is where I turn around And make my way back to reckless and naive And I refuse to listen to this sound The future is 
loud, but my friends are with me now and now. Will last a while. I used to never smile, show my teeth, or be open to change. But all of my friends are with me now. I may lose my way, you know I already lost it today. We have dragons. The story has dragons. We finally have dragons. Dragons have been written. A single dragon has been written. Um, I managed to get through it this morning and it feels, feels exhilarating. It is now lunchtime and I am going to start writing. Before I was updating you on the scenes and how I was going to manage them and the alternating POVs, I am just cutting out that middleman scene. The one that I was trying to decide whether or not I was going to write or if I was going to write the dragon one. I'm just going to cut that out because um, it doesn't feel right right now and I'm really just trying to hit the plot points. So the next scene that I am going to write now that I'm going to start, maybe finish, who knows, is the scene where my two POVs, the two main characters, meet. We're going on. We are moving forward. We're moving forward. Um, okay, so let's see. Weirdly, I will say that every scene I've been writing has been between 900 and 1200 words, and I don't really understand what that is. I don't know if it's good to have scenes all the same length or not. Um, I'm just going with it, but that's just how they all ultimately end up being. We're going with it. Just to be clear, I admit to all of my crimes. You know I've been a fool so many times. When a hopeless romantic finds love, he's bound to start looking in places that he's not gonna find hope at all. I'm always gonna fall. It's not so hopeless after all. Not so hopeless after all. All right, we are going to do this really quickly because I really want to make fried potatoes for dinner. For wow, I really want to make fried potatoes for dinner tonight. Just fried potatoes. But fried potatoes is my ultimate comfort meal, and that is exactly what I want because I am so pooped. I'm so tired today. I managed to get over 2,000 words down. I wrote two scenes, almost two scenes. I didn't, I don't know if the second scene that I wrote is quite finished yet in terms of like if I've reached the end. Obviously it's nowhere near being done. <laughs> it needs a lot of work, but I did all that and then I had a full day of work including a lot of meetings so really right now I'm just craving a big bowl of fried potatoes and then I just want to like lay under a blanket and read my book and that is precisely what I'm gonna do. I wanted to give you a little bit of an update. Obviously you know how much I've written. Um, this is gonna be all over the place because I'm really really tired. I think the last time I was updating you I said that I was going to write the scene where my main characters meet for the first time and I did it and I'm really really liking it. I honestly can't believe I wrote a dragon today. I am so I'm so happy. I've had this scene in my head for weeks and I haven't written it because I wanted to get to that point because I didn't know my character yet. I didn't know my world and there was so much that I didn't know and I'm very much a chronological writer. I didn't know, I, I 
I'm realizing that I'm not necessarily a plotter. I thought that I was. Um, I'm definitely not. I, I'm so surprised at that. But the one thing I know for sure is my story has to <laughs> reveal itself in chronological order or else I probably would just write a mess. Um, because I'm constantly looking back at things that I've referenced or written. Anyway, you don't need to get into the weeds of it. Let's crawl back out of the weeds of this conversation and say I am so happy <laughs> that I wrote a dragon. And there's just something so special about having a scene in your head for weeks and knowing that you're going to get to that point and then finally getting there. And I'm really happy with how the scene turned out. I don't know what this book is going to ultimately turn into, but I've found that the more that I trust that so long as I write, I will just find the next moment. Um, the more I do that, the more this book is kind of revealing itself to me and I'm finding more of what I want the plot to look like. I'm saying the book is revealing itself to me, but I feel like that sounds too wooey. Really, I'm just like thinking of plot ideas. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling really good. I have the next little bit of what's going to happen in my head. I don't know what's going to happen after that. And the more that I think about my book and the prologue that I've written, which the prologue really is like the setup of the entire story, I don't even know if that's going to happen in this book or if it's going to happen later on. Um, maybe it's a series. We shall see. I find that the more I'm trying to force this book out, the more difficult it is to write it. And it's something that I thought maybe I would have learned because when I look back on my first book, that's exactly how I wrote my first book because I had no idea what I was doing. And I just sat down every day and just like tried to write a scene. And then eventually this like massive plot of a book came to be and I don't know why I thought that it would be different. I don't know why I thought that when I started another book I would have an entire plot in my head. Um, it's funny, it's almost like forgetting you know how to ride a bike. <laughs> so anywho, while I was in the bath, really quickly actually, while I was in the bath I was looking at my library app and the audiobook of Daisy Jones and the Sixth is available so I borrowed it and that's what I'm gonna listen to while I make dinner I've I haven't read that book but um, fun fact about me almost famous is actually one of my favorite movies of all time and this book feels very similar I've heard it really good things about it it was really popular <laughs> it's not like a book a hidden gem at all um, and there's also a television show coming out about it but that's what I'm gonna listen to while I am cooking dinner and then I'm going to curl up and I'm going to read. I'm going to read the night away because it's been a really good day. It's been a good day on the page. It's been a good day off the page. And we're going to pick back up tomorrow with the next moment. We're going to maybe finish the scene. I don't know why I'm saying we. It's all me. It's just me and the voices in my head. 